All right. Izmir 2023, are you ready for Izmir 2024? Yeah. All right. And my name is Julio Nieto, and I'm so excited to share the next year Izmir with you, where it's going to be and how it's going to look like in San Francisco, California. It's going to be from November 10th uh, till November 14th. And well, hello, San Francisco, the beautiful city by the bay, the one with incredible, incredible sheer hills with the iconic trams that you've seen everywhere, the famous Lombard Street that you've seen so many movies, the painted ladies here that you've seen in Full House, the beautiful Victorian houses in San Francisco, Dolores Park in the beautiful Mission, amazing stuff. But just let's start from the beginning. Where is San Francisco? <laughs> San Francisco is in the United States and it's exactly right here. So I can talk about San Francisco without talking about California, California Republic, this magical land on the west coast of the United States of America. I'm sorry, I just, like a couple of months ago, I got my US citizenship, so I'm... <laughs> America. And I'm learning how to, how to actually learn how to sell things instead of being a self-deprecating Spaniard. Uh, so, yeah, let's go. Uh, so San Francisco, California, in the, in, you can see it here, kind of in the middle north, that's part of Northern California. And Northern California is home to the beautiful Yosemite, probably the best, most beautiful place in the world. This is uh, actually, this is one of the, this picture I took it like one month ago when I was there. I, every time I go there, my mind blows. If you come to San Francisco next year, you got to do a road trip and go there. It's incredible. Uh, the Sierras are part of this uh, mountains on the east of California, home also to Lake Tahoe with amazing ski resorts. You can do camping, hiking, snowshoeing, it's incredible. Uh, home to the giant sequoias, California. Here we have our very president-elect, Justin Solomon, doing his thing here. <laughs> but if you don't want to do a road trip, well, first, you're wrong. But second, you have so many things to do just in the San Francisco Bay Area. San Francisco is located in the tip of a peninsula. On the west, you have the Pacific Ocean. On the north, you have Marin County. If you go through the Golden Gate Bridge, on the east, you have the Bay, and on the south, you have all the magical Silicon Valley. So just if you take uh, a little car ride to the north, you get to the Muir Woods uh, that look like Endor, where the Ewoks walk. That's actually where George Lucas uh, around that area is where he lives with the Skywalker Ranch and everything. Uh, or you can hike around the beautiful west part of San Francisco and go to the beach and uh, you can watch the Golden Gate Bridge from there and maybe end up doing some surfing there in Pacifica. It's so, so amazing, so awesome. But maybe you don't care about all of this, what you care is about wildlife. So there we have beautiful, amazing hummingbirds. I kid you not. As a European, I'm like fascinated by these birds and I see them all the time by my window. Oh, two mics, okay, one mic. Uh, I see them by my window all the time. We have like a, a really nice uh, hummingbird feeding. They come, they're incredible. I, they're everywhere. I hear them all the time. It's just like true, all year long. Or maybe you're interested in the sea lions in Pier 39. Uh, they're just bathing there all the time. You can see them in San Francisco. And they're bison, they're bison in San Francisco in the Golden Gate Park. You can go and check them out. You can go for a run around there. So many things to do. But maybe you don't care about all of this. What you care is about food. Ichiro, I'm looking at you. OK. Uh, OK, I got to say, I got to admit, my new country is not known by amazing food. But, but uh, San Francisco is an incredible uh, city full of immigrants. It's a city of immigrants. So you will find the most incredible Mexican food outside of Mexico. You'll find the most incredible Chinese food outside of China. You'll find the most incredible Indian food outside of India. So you get the point. <laughs> I actually, I kid you not, I found, I ate the most amazing paella outside of Spain in the Bay Area. That's true, it's a true story, true story. 
Uh, there are uh, 28 Michelin star restaurants in San Francisco. So if you're a foodie, you are gonna be very happy. But maybe you don't care about this. Why, what do you care about? Music, that's why you're here, right? So the Bay Area is home to legendary hip hop rap artists, Tupac, MC Hammer, Souls of Mischief, Too Short, Digital Underground, E40. Here we have our very own, one of our tutorial chairs, Mohamed Sordo, hanging out with E40 in the, in the Pandora office. Uh, and maybe you don't care about hip hop, what you care is about the real music, right? <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I love, I love, I love hip hop too. Uh, but we have Metallica, Primus, Faith No More, Machine Head, Testament, Exodus, Forbidden, oh my God, they're a whole poem from the, from the Bay Area. I, I, yeah, actually like in a, in a bar, as it, was. it doesn't matter. Uh, other iconic legendary bands, Green Day, Santana, Tower of Power, uh, Journey, right? Like, just a small town boy. Uh, Chris Isaac, Creedence Clearwater Revival, and the Hippies, the Grateful Dead, Jefferson A Airplane, all from the San Francisco Bay Area. But maybe what you care deeply uh, is about innovation and tech. Uh, so yeah, welcome to Silicon Valley. Arguably, San Francisco uh, Bay Area is the capital of innovation. And to put this in context, uh, around over 200 plus years ago, the white man came and it was the gold rush. And now we have to acknowledge that San Francisco is in occupied Ohlone land. And that brought a lot of gold and a lot of money to actually build, uh, found some of these incredible two top tier universities, Stanford University and Berkeley. And that brought a lot of young people and a lot of culture. And that brought, of course, the hippies from the summer of love in the 60s and the 70s and that brought the civil rights movement that gave so much to the LGBTQ community and that gave birth to the counterculture in San Francisco with the uh, beatnik era and with all these crazy murals that we have out there that gave birth to Burning Man, the crazy hippie festival that was born in San Francisco and that's me on a bike half naked. And all of that together, of course, can't be said without talking about the crazy revolution of the technology that is culminating with AI and nowadays with all these crazy generative AI uh, processes. But if all of this doesn't convince you, I'm gonna give you a concrete example. My mom came to visit and we took a robot taxi in San Francisco, a taxi that drives by itself. And here we have a little video of it. Oh, there's no sound. But it's, it's okay, I was saying, oh my goodness, I this is driving by itself, that's me. My mom was like, oh my God, what is this? This is the future, this is the future. So if robot taxis don't convince you to come to San Francisco, I don't know what will. <laughs> All right, talking about the weather, I asked Google, is November a good time to visit San Francisco? And Google replied, the best time to visit San Francisco is from September to November. Believe it or not, fall offers some of the city's warmest temperatures year-round, year not to mention fewer crowds than summer. Between 12 and 21 Celsius, that's what you could expect, or 50 to 70 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, this is gonna be mostly sunny with little to no rain. The rainy season starts in December, so November should be pretty safe and pretty sunny, and, and it should be beautiful. Okay, now for real, let's talk about Izmir 2024. <laughs> Uh, so this year, given all of this music in the Bay Area, given all of this innovation in the Bay Area, given that San Francisco is the city of bridges, we decided to have a theme for the conference. And the theme is bridging technology and creativity through music. So what does all of this mean? Uh, we are gonna have a special call for papers, uh, MIR for creative use and users, ethical music AI, human in the loop music generation, we want to expand the music program with special sessions on creative practices through MIR. We believe that the artist community and the MIR researchers, they don't really talk to each other. So we want to bridge these two communities so that artists learn what we actually do when they use some of the MIR technologies. And we understand as researchers what the artists want so that we can create better technologies. Uh, then we're gonna have special panels, ethics in music and, I, uh, and generative models. And, all of this is a work in progress and a lot more to be announced. The venue of Izmir 2024 is going to be at the Hyatt Regency in Embarcadero. 
Uh, you can see it's like right next to some of these uh, iconic trams. And just to say it again, it's going to be from November 10th till November 14th. This is actually myself in front of the Hyatt Regency just last month. Uh, more pictures of the hotel. This is a look from one of the rooms with the ferry building, with the Bay Bridge, with the Treasure Island at the back. And then you can see the Berkeley Hills at the very end. Uh, it's a gorgeous hotel. I, Matthias Mauch told me that he stayed there once and he, he loved it. Uh, and uh, this is actually where Izmir 2024 will take place. This is one of the conference venues where we're actually going to be in, where the sessions will take place. But where is this hotel? Well, this is the San Francisco map with all the public transit lines. And you can see that they all kind of converge to the northeastern part of uh, San Francisco. And that's exactly what the Hyatt Regency is. So it's really easy to get by public transportation. And there's uh, direct trains from both, both from the two major airports, uh, San Francisco and Oakland airports. So it should be pretty easy to get there. I want to acknowledge that uh, the Bay Area is a really expensive place. Uh, to talk about Audrey's uh, points uh, that she brought up, uh, we uh, want to recognize this. And this is a challenge for us. But on the flip side, San Francisco Bay Area, as I mentioned, is home to so many companies that hopefully will be willing to sponsor Izmir. So we have a really strong sponsorship chair that we're working with to make the conference as inclusive as possible and affordable as possible. So we are thinking about subsidizing the registration costs, the potentially the accommodation costs, having a lot of travel grants, et cetera, et cetera. So hopefully that Izmir uh, will be as affordable as we can make it. Uh, finally, I wanted to mention that the banquet and jam session venues are still to be announced. We're working on that, but uh, they're going to be epic. We know what you want, and we're going to deliver, OK? We're going to do it. And uh, yeah, finally, just a word with the organizers. I couldn't, I couldn't think of organizing such a conference with a more incredible set of titans. Uh, this is all the people from the community that have already committed to be working with us for Izmir 2024. There's so many more to be announced, but uh, yeah, we, we feel like, like we are the dream team. All right. And uh, that's it. That's it for me. Uh, this is just all the information. I just wanted to say that we already have the website running. Thank you, Ashbala, for putting that last minute. We just have the, the latest information, just, uh, just like a placeholder with this information there, but we will update it uh, very soon. But thank you, and I can't wait to welcoming you in San Francisco 2024. All right. Thank you. Thank you.